Hello guys how are you all? In today's unboxing video, I will present to you about Best Blacks. You may be wondering which one is best. There are so many different models and brands out there that it can be tough to make a decision. Please like the video, subscribe the channel. But if you're looking for a durable and easy to use option that will please the whole family. We'll take a closer look at what makes this cooker so special and why it's such a popular choice. Keep reading to learn more. These black stainless cookers are the best way to cook for a large group of people. It has a sleek, modern black stainless steel finish that will look great in any kitchen. The digital timer can be set for up to 20 hours, so you can cook your food at the perfect temperature. Its one great function is to auto shift to a warm setting when cooking is done. It has a dishwasher safe glass lid and stoneware pot that take this already great appliance to the next level. The recipe you can cook with this black stainless steel sl This black stainless cooker is perfect for cooking a variety of recipes. Some of the recipes you can cook with cooker include baby back ribs, BBQ pulled pork, beef bourguignon, lemon herb roasted chicken, chicken caxiatter, chili, pot roast, sausage and meatballs, beef stew, an easy, healthy fish fillet. This slow cooker is sure to make your cooking experience more enjoyable. Hints and tips, of course, as a newbie who just started using a slow cooker, you might need some hints and tips while cooking with the slow cooker. Below are a few hints and tips you should know. Pasta and rice. While cooking rice, use long grain converted rice or as the recipe suggests. Perhaps if the rice is not properly cooked after the recommended time, Add more little water and continue cooking for like 20 to 30 minutes. For pasta, you can first parboil the pasta and then add it and allow it to cook. Beans. While cooking beans, always make sure the beans are cooked until it is soft before adding sugar or any acidic food because sugar and acidic food can prevent the beans from getting soft. Similarly, while cooking dried bean like red kidney beans, ensure it is boiled first before adding them to the recipe. Vegetables. If you are a vegetarian like me, this hint is just for you to cooking your vegetable making them not to get overcooked and also add flavor to them. If you are cooking vegetables with meat, you should place the meat first before the meat, because the vegetable cooks slowly. Herbs and spices, fresh herbs should be added at the end of the cooking process because they can lose their favor over long cooking. While using spices, taste the food at the end of the cooking process and adjust the seasoning before serving. Milk, milk, cream, and sour cream do break down the extended cooking. When possible, always add it to the last 20 to 30 minutes. However, soup can be used instead of milk and can cook for extended times as well. Soup. Most times some soup recipes require a large amount of water. So firstly add all the ingredients. Then top it up with water. Meat. Rinse meat well and trim off the fat before cooking. Cut meat into small pieces when cooking with pre-cooked foods such as beans and fruit. Larger meat and meat with bone tend to cook slowly than boneless meat. Always place the larger meat on the stoneware without touching the lid. Fish. Fish cooks faster and should always be added 10 minutes 15 minutes to the end of the cooking time. Cleaning process after use. After you're done cooking your meals, it's important to properly clean your new black stainless steel. The cleaning process is very easy and effortless, but there are a few things to keep in mind. First, turn off the cooker and unplug it. Then, allow it to cool before washing it. It's important to never wash the cooker when it is hot. The lid and stoneware are dishwishable. However, you don't need to use an abrasive cleaning agent on the cooker. A soft sponge, cloth, and warm soapy water will do the trick. With just a little bit of care, will last for years to come. Important safeguards. In order to avoid hazards like fire, electric shock, and injury, the important safeguards below should be followed. Ensure to read all the instructions before you start using the cooker. Keep away from children and ensure close supervision when used around children. Always unplug the cooker and turn it off when not in use. Never disconnect it by pulling out the cord straight. Always turn it off properly. Always inspect the cord very well before plugging it into the outlet and never operate the cooker with a damaged cord. Don't use any accessory that is not recommended by the manufacturer with Extreme caution must be taken when moving hot oil or other hot liquids. Avoid sudden temperature changes, such as adding refrigerated or cold liquids into the heated cooker. Do not use it for outdoor or commercial purposes. Only use the appliance for the purpose it was made for. Misuse can lead to injuries. Please like the video. Subscribe the channel.